Do you wonder what to do when your little students just are so hyper and they can't stop shaking and moving and just running around? I've got the thing for you and it actually teaches them something important. Hi, I'm Kay Lowry and I am a specialist in beginners, especially beginners ages three or four through eight. And there are a lot of kids in this age group who have a lot of energy. And there are also some kids in this age group that have some special needs. And today we're gonna to have one tip that's going to help you with those hyperactive days. And it's called freeze dance. I know you probably know what freeze dance is, so let's just define what it is and then we'll talk about what it does. So freeze dance is when you either play a recording or something on the piano and you then you just abruptly stop and the child freezes. So during the music time, they can go bananas within reason in your room. Give them some definition like you can stay in this space and you can dance and go crazy, but when I stop playing, you freeze. So a simple improvisation like this would work. And then have them freeze. And they like to freeze in really awkward positions. It's sort of fun. So you can even, there's a popular TV show, Bluey, that actually uses freeze dance. So if you can find that music, um, they love that. So what does it do for them to be able to just move around and freeze? Obviously, they're getting their wiggles out, that's great, but they're also following your direction. So have you ever had a student who just goes to the piano and they just wanna play and play and they don't seem to be listening when you tell them to stop? Do a freeze dance. Use their gross motor, um, muscles and then teach them to freeze. They love it. So they're following directions, number one. Number two, they really are learning to listen and they're learning to listen for a rest. So what you're teaching them is sound before symbol. And that's something that is so important. So when they get the idea that they're going to have to be following directions and they're going to have to be listening and you can incorporate freeze dance a couple of times, then show them the symbol of the quarter rest. Now, I don't really care that it's only one beat. I'm trying to get the idea in their head that when I hold up this card that has a quarter rest, it means stop. And so that is what freeze dancing is. I hope that this explanation has motivated you to try this very simple tip. Down in the description below, I'm going to link up a free sample chapter from my preschool book. Hope that helps you. And if you have any comments, let me know about how you teach little students.